Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this video, I continue working on the cabinets. In today's video, I'm going to tackle one of the remaining tasks on the cabinet project and that is ensuring I have a nice straight line along the edges of the drawers. In my previous video, I alluded to what I call manufacturing variances. So even though your materials can be cut to the exact same size, there is always going to be some minor variance between each item. And those variances arise from things like how much pressure you put on the clamps, how much glue you put on each joint, whether all your joints are square or a little bit off square, how do you pre-drill the holes for the slides and how do you center the slide on the hole itself. And all those come into play and occasionally you might see a little bit of a jagged edge on your drawer line uh, and usually that's where one drawer ends and the other one begins. So I have been thinking about how to make the task a little bit more efficient and this is what I came up with. I was thinking of a nice straight edge where I can align the top and the bottom and then I take my template routing bit and go with the router and that's going to give me the straight line that I'm looking for. The advantage of this approach is that everything is in place. I can do the three drawers at once and I don't have to take everything in and out every time I need to just make a small adjustment. Nothing comes without challenges, so the challenge of this task is ensuring that I have a nice proper straight edge ensuring that nothing moves during the process and ensuring that I don't cut into the wood of the actual cabinet. So this is what I'm going to be doing today.
worked. But there was a little learning curve right here. Uh, when I was doing the upward cut, I, my hand got caught into the handle of the C-clamp and that caused me to turn the router slightly awkwardly, which cut a little notch right here. Uh, but aside from that and a little cutting error during the cutting of the materials for the bottom drawer, I'm quite pleased with the result. Now I'm going to have to tackle the other three cabinets. Well, I wasn't exactly happy with the alignment of the big drawer. One side is a lot lower than the other. So I made those little pegs that I am going to insert into the existing uh, screw holes, uh, glue them up and try again. And while the glue is drawing, I'll be tackling the other cabinet. So I had a bit of a technical difficulty yesterday. Once I shot the footage for the pegs into the holes, I forgot to click the record button and the second last drawer, uh, the footage is non-existent. But we pick up the action now with the glue being dry and me doing the new holes with the slides. Now, if you wonder what this uh, green thing is, that's masking tape, uh, a little bit of a tip right now. Uh, if you want to prevent overspill from the glue going into the nice finished area, I just put up a masking tape, uh, drill a little hole, and then now the extra glue is sitting on top of the masking tape and I can easily remove it. And that's a pro tip. All in all, a success. Aside from three minor incidents, uh, you remember the first notch that I created, uh, there was a second notch created and a little bit of an overzealous cutting on my part. <laughs> uh, but aside from those three, everything else looks perfect. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with the minor incidents. Um, I'm just gonna call them maker's touch and leave them as they are. Now I have to focus on my next task, which is sanding. If you like this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe and also follow me on all social media. All the links will be in the description.